Sending events to Algoia has many benefits. It unlocks advanced features, including the AI-powered ones, and it gives you access to valuable analytics insights. That's why, if you want to make the most of what Algoia has to offer, we strongly recommend sending insights events to Algoia. In this video, we will see how to send click and conversion events using the React and SendSearch library. You need React and SendSearch v5.5.0 or later to follow the explanations. If you have an older version, check out the upgrade guides in the documentation. Before we start coding, let's have a quick look at our existing project. It's a fictional e-commerce store powered by Instant Search. We can search for products, apply filters, and click on a result to see a minimal product detail page. Everything is working, but currently, no events are being sent to Algolia. This project has four main files. App.js, that uses React Router to either display the search page or the product page. SearchPage.js, to add four instant search widgets, search box, refinement list, hits, and pagination. ProductCard.js, to display a single product's information in the results of the search page and a link to the product detail page. ProductPage.js, which does three things. Get the object ID from the URL, send a search request to Algolia with that object ID, but in real application, this is likely to come from your own database, and display the product details we've just retrieved. Now, let's see how to send events to Algolia. We will start by sending a click event when we select a product from the search results. First, we need to install the Search Insights library in our CLI. We use Yarn as the package manager, but you can also use NPM. Next, in the app.js file, we import the Search Insights library and we connect it to our Algolia application with the app ID and the search only API key. We recommend setting a user token with the AA function. The token should uniquely identify each user, but here we will write a hard-coded string as an example. The click event we will send to Algolia needs to include the query ID of the latest search. To make sure we have that information sent automatically with the event, go to searchpage.js and under the instant search widget, add the configure widget with click analytics. Now that we've finished our setup, let's actually send an event to Algoia when a user click on this product link. First, we import AA from the Search Insights and connect Hit Insights from React and SendSearch. The connection is done the following way, at the bottom of our file, when we do the export of our component. We can now call the Insights function from within the product card component. So, in the link of our product, Let's listen to click events and call the insights function. The insights function infers important parameters like index, positions, query ID, and object IDs from the instant search context. But we still need to include the type of event, here it's clicked object IDs after search, and the name of the event, for example, search result clicked. And that's it! To test that our code is working, we've downloaded the Insights Validator Chrome extension. Once installed, it counts the number of events sent to Algolia, and right now, it shows zero events. But if we click on the product, we get one event. This means we now have click events sent to Algolia. Next, let's look at how to send a conversion event to Algolia. What is a conversion is completely up to us. In this example, we will trigger the conversion event when we click on the Add to Cart button. But since we don't have React Instant Search on the product page, things will be a little different this time. In the product page.js file, we import the AA function from the Search Insights library. But instead of binding it to our React Instant Search instance, we need to bind it directly to our code and listen to click events on the Add to Cart button and then send the conversion events to Algolia using the AA function. It needs two parameters. The action we want to perform, in this case it's converted object IDs after search, and an object with information about the event. It needs the name of the index, 
which we stored in a variable, the name of the event, for example, product added to cart, the user token, same string we've used earlier, the object ID that was clicked, stored in the object ID variable, and the query ID that triggered this conversion event. However, we don't have access to the query ID here. To solve that, a best practice is to pass the value from the search page to the product page using the URL. Let's go to app.js and edit the product root to include the query ID. Then, change the URL in the product card.js to add the query ID value. Go back to product page.js to retrieve the query ID from the URL with React's useParams method. And finally, we can pass that information to the AA function. Now, let's open the browser and click on the Add to Cart button. We can see in the Insights Validator that we have one conversion event. And we're done. With just a few lines of code, we've managed to send click and conversion events to Algolia. This gives us access to Algolia's advanced features and valuable analytics data. Next step, check that the events are received by Algolia using the dashboard.